Welcome to the IOD Nigeria podcast series, a platform for conversations on a wide range of issues in corporate governance, ethics, leadership, and businesses in Nigeria and globally. Our topic today is on gender equity in the boardroom. Ladies and gentlemen, please sit back and enjoy the conversation between our two eminent guests. When we talk about gender equity or whether you call it gender equality, diversity and inclusion, um, we're really talking about fairness of treatment for women and men. Uh, we're talking about, you know, um, economic advancement, empowerment, respect for ability, the aspirations of people, human beings, and advancement of work, workplace people without limitations. Um, the, so there's a report that's out, which is derived from a study by PWR uh, in 2021. It's an advisory and advocacy firm. And that report has revealed, in addition to the NGX report, that only 23.4% out of the 239 board seats available in the top 20 companies are held by women, while 76% of those positions are held by men. Furthermore, and really interesting, is that 10% of the companies have female board chairs, only 10%. The distinguished personality that will be interrogating this issue and discussing this very important topic and subject matter is none other than Mrs. Mosun Bello Olushoga, a woman of many firsts. She was the first female executive director at Guarantee Trust Bank, the first female director at Access Bank, the first female director of First Premium Pensions, the first female chairman of Access Bank, and the first pro-chancellor and chairman of Olabisi Onobanjo University. She's also on the board of Action Aid, the director of MTN Foundation, and also the CEO of her own consulting firm, KRC Limited. So please join me in warmly welcoming Mrs. Mosun Bello Olushoga to the IOD podcast series. My name is Amina Oyagola, FIOD, Chairman of the Ethics Committee, Institute of Directors, Nigeria, and I will be your moderator for this episode. 